Hey yo, what's going on guys, it's your boy Robron here and today, today is a different type of video. Um, if you've read the title then something very sad has happened. Basically I have, I used to have a dog called um, Jasper, he was a black Labrador, he had a white like patch of fur on his chest. Um, he was a Labrador cross with a collie, um, but he had, he was black. He had like kind of orange eyes, like you know that if you've ever seen one of those types of dogs before. Um, he was only a little bit older than me, um, cause yeah, but um, he he wasn't well, like. Since, like, when we had him, like, he was alright and stuff, and then after, like, a year or so, he, like, started fitting. And if you don't know what fitting is, it's, like, a dog term for dogs being sick. Like, it's where they don't have, like, control of their body, and, like, the body has, like, a little, like, crazy moment. And then, like, they're not in their right mind. And... When they're not in the right mind, they don't know what they're doing. So I'll get onto that in a bit. But then they need some like time to snap out of it. And obviously they're scared and stuff because they don't know what they're doing. But um, my dog Jasper, obviously, you'd fit now and again. And then you fitted a bit. Then like didn't. And then you did a lot, like really badly, like recently. And, um, I'm trying to stay happy in this, because I'll tell you at the end, but, um, basically, one of the times he fitted, he had, he had hit his head on a bit of hard wood, because where, in my living room, there's a bit where, that he can sit on, well, where he did sit on, where it was a bit, like, it was a round couch bit, but it wasn't really a couch, it was, like, on the windowsill, and he hit his head on the wood, and obviously then he started fitting well he fitted then he hit his head on the wood and then my mum went over to see if he was okay and because he didn't have control of himself he bit my mum's arm like here or so like with one of his big teeth like um and it did a she's all right now but obviously he didn't know that he was doing that Obviously, we couldn't let that happen to anyone else. We just like, all right, he's fitted, he's done that. What do we do? And then he kept on fitting like the next few days, and then but he was in pain and things. So we got we had a family talk at one time, at, um, at tea time or something. We had a family talk about what should we do, and we came to a conclusion because he's been fitting. He's bit my mum, he's got a bit of brain damage, and he's just in pain. We're gonna, we're gonna let him, we're gonna put him down. So, which is sad, because if any of you guys know what it's like to lose a pet, or lose a person, like a family member, or lose someone that was close, or just involved in your life, you know what it's like to have someone that you just knew and was there for and you did things for them and then when they just have to go you, it's hard and I'm not I'm not faking this or anything and I'm not and I don't fake any of my videos but just this is this hit me hard today because I, obviously i've not been well for the last few days and um i was sick again last night but um we my mum woke up and then obviously i was off school and they were like round about lunch time or something my mum called me down to say goodbye to him I said goodbye and, you know, gave him a last stroke on his head. 
And then my mum took him into the car, and then that was the last I ever saw of him. And I know it's sad, but I'm not trying to be sad on camera, because then, you know what it's, that's like. But, um... I just... I'm gonna miss him. Like, the good times we had. Obviously, nothing's perfect. Like, I do remember one time where... I don't know how many months we'd had him for, but... Like we, because we, when we got him, we got him from a family that had to give him away because of um, he was scaring the neighbors' cats, so we got him from there, and then he lived with us for like obviously until today. Um, but was it? I do remember one time if I think I took him to the Lily Park one time, and um, I had a tennis ball. And we didn't we didn't uh, let him off the lead because he was hyper and he would just run away. Um, but because I was stupid back then, bloody thing on my side of my face, um, I threw the tennis ball with the lead on him. And I like obviously you unclip the lead to let it extend, but it was the old lead, so it wasn't going that far. And he pulled me across the concrete, which obviously because I was. I don't know, I think I was like 11, 12 maybe-ish. Um, it fucking hurt. Like, when I got home, like I checked my back and I had like three like, physical scrapes down my back. Which obviously did ache. Um, I, but then I remember just sitting in my parents' room just watching Garfield the movie. <laughs> but, um, and then obviously, you know, yeah. Um, but I just, I will, I don't know, I was going to say I need some time, but I won't really need that much time, um, I, I have plans to make a Terraria video, because I do have Terraria now, um, and I have been playing it a bit, in stuff, um, I want to do the cards world at war challenges soon and then maybe see what happens and also think about scooter vlog 6 along the way um also the five nights at candy challenges things with friends i'm also seeing what i can do about um because the thing was like jasper my dog he would bark at literally anyone who went past the window um but now He's not going to be there anymore. I think... I do. I wouldn't say my friends are scared of him. But I would definitely say... They... Kind of feared him in a way. I don't know. Um, I'm not going to name any names. But, uh, like... I think I had to keep on telling one that, like... Yes, he can't get past the door... Because he, he used to be able to open doors, like, he could, like, push doors open, not pull them open. Um, but, obviously, in the front room he, that we have, um, he would have to push through from outside the front room to get in. But he can't get out if he's in the front room. And I had to keep on telling one of my friends, that he can't get through the door and things. And then we would go up to my room and, obviously play games or whatever um and things um but yeah i am gonna miss him he is he was uh, the first dog we as my family household so not as my whole family but as my household had uh, my dad has had dogs for years and years but we never had one like we had cats and then we got guinea pigs with cats. And then one of the guinea pigs died. So then I got a rabbit. Because literally... What so was it? We got... We got two... We had originally two cats. And then we got uh, two guinea pigs. Then one of the guinea pigs died. We not, then one of the cats died. Then one of the guinea pigs died. Um, I think the cat died over Christmas. I can't remember when the guinea pig died. 
Um, then I got a rabbit from like my birthday, I think, um, which I still have. He's um, he, I refer to him as the Minecraft Killer Bunny because he's like white and he's got red eyes. It's yeah. But um, then we got then we got Jasper, um, then we got three little more guinea pigs, and then um, and then we got two kittens. Which is just <laughs> so literally our house is like I don't know a pet I don't know <laughs> I, I seriously don't know what's next. I said to my parents about getting another dog because dogs are good and all. Like obviously there are things that you have to adapt, like taking him for walk, or taking the dog for walks, um, yeah, and stuff, and like doing checks with him like the vets and things because cats don't really like going to the vets um and i don't think guinea pigs would either or a rabbit but yeah um anything else really but um he has been put to sleep um i will remember him i just i I will remember him things, I just don't really want to talk about it, because obviously I don't want to really try and get sad about it, because it's, it's going to be a bit hard n knowing that he's not here where, where he would belong. And I hope we move the dog cage and stuff soon, otherwise we're all just going to be depressed about it. But um, I'm not here to depress you guys, so I will be uploading videos and things. Um, I don't, I'm don't. i not making this video to get sympathy. I'm just making this video telling you so for reasons that is hard to explain. So like if I'm not like happy or if my voice is like this, where I'm more like a serious tone. Um, obviously, my YouTube trailer is out, if anyone's watched that, then good, if you haven't, then go watch it, um, it is mainly for, um, new viewers, but hey, you can still watch it if you want, because I have uploaded it normally, um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I think that's it, really, so, Right, so subscribe with notifications on, um, like the video if you enjoy, but again, you don't have to because it's just this, like, video. Comment if you got something to say, as I said, I don't require sympathy. Um, share with a friend, family member, anyone really, um, even a teacher or something, if you really want to. Um, as I said, I don't mind, um, but I'll have to see you guys in the next one because it's getting late. i got to edit this and then i got to go to bed. So see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, guys. Bye.